Hi, this is Wynne Hopkins from Access Analytic, and I'm going to show you the easy way to do index match. So we have a table of data on our right hand side. This just has name, employee number, and department. And we're going to do a lookup for department and bring that department back to the table on our left hand side based on employee number. So here we go, we type in department. The table automatically expands, and now we're going to use a little trick. I call it my III autocorrect trick, and I'll explain how we do this later. But for now, I just type III and press Enter. And our formula copies down a pre-built index match formula. Now, it does look a bit scary at this point, but let me break it down. Step one is the lookup cell we're going to select. And step two is the column where we're going to find that lookup cell. So in this case, we're going to try and find employee number in the employee number column. And then finally, step three is the result column. This is going to be the column called department. So we just work our way through. We double click on step one and go and click on the cell that contains three, five, six, seven. So that's just a single cell. And our formula changes to at employee number, which means this row employee number. So we're just looking up that value of 3567. Where are we looking it up? Well, we double click on step two. Then we highlight the employee number column. And a quick way of doing this is just to hover your mouse over the top of the heading and click. And you'll be able to highlight all the data in one go. And then finally, step three. Again, we double click and then we go to the department column heading. Click at the top of the heading. We highlight the column and we're done. Simply press enter. And there we have it. A department looked up based on employee number. Now one thing that uh, VLOOKUPs can't do is look up to the left. But with index match it's just as easy as looking up to the right. All we do, we're going to look up name this time. And name is to the left of employee number in our table data. So what we're going to do is exactly the same thing as we did before. We no need to change. We're just going to do III and work through the steps. So step one, double click on the step one part of the formula. Then we go across and we click on the figure of 3567, which is our employee number. Double click on step two and highlight our employee number column. Double click on step three and highlight the column we want to bring back. This time, the name column. So exactly the same as the way we did the first one. And there we have it. Look up to the left. And we don't even have to start from scratch. It's really easy just to duplicate an existing formula. So if we copy that department formula and just paste it into our name2 column, all we do is we click after the first square bracket, so just before the D of department, and then start typing the letters of the column we want. So in this scenario, NA for name, and then it lists all the columns that begin with the letters NA. And we just press tab or double click to select that column. It's that straightforward. No counting columns. It's just easy to double click and it tells you what column you've selected. So hopefully that's useful for you. Also, the benefit of index match is that if you insert a column, the formula still works. Whereas a VLOOKUP, that formula would now be bringing back a blank column. So index matches are a lot safer. If you insert or delete columns, it'll always give you the right answer. Whereas VLOOKUP potentially will give you the wrong one. So how do we do this III trick? Here we go. I essentially take this formula. I'm copying it using Control c or right-click copy. Then I press escape. Now I want to go to my autocorrect, which is in file, down to options, into proofing, and then we select the autocorrect options button. Then in the replace box, I type III, and in the with box, I clear out whatever's in there, 
and do control V to paste that pre-built formula in. Then click add and you're done. So now whenever you type III, autocorrect kicks in and you've got a pre-built formula. So I hope you found that useful. Please leave me some feedback and let me know what you think. And good luck.